You don't need blue blocking glasses. There's no way I would use it as a therapeutic tool to help people sleep better. And while people were already talking about light ruining sleep, it still hadn't been well tested, especially for screen light. And this was probably in the early 2010s. You look at the research and it's like, no one's actually tested this. No one's actually looked at this blue and rich light that comes from a screen and does it actually make it difficult to fall asleep? To investigate this further, Michael Gratizar's team ran one of the first studies of its kind. 16 teens use screens at full brightness, dimmed, or with blue light filters for one hour before bed. Going from a fully dim screen to a bright screen was only a magnitude of taking three to four minutes longer to fall asleep. That's nothing. It just wasn't bright enough to really impact sleep in our study, and that was in 2014. Blue and green can be more potent at suppressing melatonin, changing the phase of the circadian rhythm, but it's got to be bright enough. Blue light or not, it has to be bright enough to make a difference. Over the subsequent decade, our findings were confirmed by other researchers. And what happens next might surprise you. The rest of the answers are waiting in our complete documentary. You can find it right now, live on our channel.